Hey guys, I've got a, um, a Subaru here. Um, as you can see, that's the XV Boxer. It's a diesel one. And uh, we have a engine management light that is on and we suspect that it's the DPF that needs regeneration. So, the first thing that we did was to check the dipstick. As you can see, this thing is over. It shows that there's oil dilation. There's too much uh, oil uh, in, the, in the sump. So we are not going to do this. We need to change the oil first before we go ahead and do that. So, but for now, we want to um, connect a diagnostic machine and see what the codes, what codes we're getting. Right, guys, this is what we were talking about. Um, as we told you before, that this could be oil dilution. Uh, proved by the dipstick, as you can see. I'll show you once again from the dipstick. This thing is full to the neck. As you can see, you don't do a regeneration when this uh, oil is full like that. So we're going to do a service because this thing has been trying to regenerate itself um, and for many times and it wasn't. He took it for a drive, a long drive, but still he wouldn't get it to regenerate. So now, because it's been throwing you know, diesel in there, so that's why we have, we don't want to continue doing that because it will end up damaging the bores. So now we're going to service this engine first, change the oil filter, and then do, try to do a forced regeneration after that. But here's a P1468 oil dilation. So that's why she's refusing to, uh, to, to, to do a regeneration. But I think if we can change the oil and take it for a drive, we might get away with it without even having to do a forced regeneration. So that's where we are for the meantime. So here we go. Um, this is the code P1468 engine oil dilution malfunction. So this problem here means that, as I, as I alluded before, there's too much oil, okay? Why is that? It's because of the diesel that has been trying to regenerate, um, you know, the, the, the DPF, but it wasn't able to do so because this guy drives short distances, okay? And so once the engine discovers that there's too much oil, then it will not regenerate. So what we are going to do to solve this problem um, that is ridiculously high, okay, that's too high. So what we are going to do to solve this issue now, forget about, you know, other problems. Uh, what we're going to do is we want to, we're going to carry out a service, okay, just oil and filter, and then, and then we're going to tell the, uh, the engine that, you know, there's new oil, and then we'll let the driver take the car on a run. We can do a forced regeneration, but we don't want to do that. We just want to get the driver to drive a long distance and this thing should regenerate itself. So that's where we are at the moment. I'll show you the oils that we have. So here's the kit, expensive stuff. Uh, this is good stuff. So that's what we are using you know, for the, for the service. We're going to change the oil. And then from there, we will do um, you know, mileage reset and everything else. And then I think that should uh, allow the light. Maybe I need to show you, show you the wheel light. Um, I don't remember showing you the light, so I'll show you the light now. So you see that flashing light there, that's the DPF light, okay? So we want to deal with that. After we do the service, we want then to reset everything and then we'll come back to you. So this is just to confirm the customer's complaint. That's what is giving us that code, that DPF life is, light is on. Might as well, there you go. Ooh, I almost dropped Ooh. the phone in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of diesel. There is a lot of diesel. This is proper oil dilution. You know. But you see what it does then? It goes and washes the bearings. The main bearings. You know? That's the problem. And 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 the other thing as well, besides the besides that, it, it goes to the you know the, the wall cylinders washes the oil and then it can actually cause wear and tear for the for this so guys here is our our oil filter standing on the front of the vehicle 
uh, descending in front of the vehicle, it's on your right. So that's it here. Uh, it's been, you can see it, it's face down. It's facing down once. So uh, it's a canstone spinning. Let's see. Let's see if we can. It's coming. It is coming. It's not too bad. Do we have uh, something to clean in this? Let's just put a bit of oil in there. Uh, let me. Hello, guys. I just want to apologize because uh, I went on to clear the cords and um, you know reset the service light, and the DPF light went out. So I'm handing over this car, you know, to the owner so that uh, he's one of our technicians here in work so that he can drive it and then um you know i know that it's gonna regenerate itself i told him to take for a long drive this time because it doesn't have that extra diesel in the oil so it should uh regenerate because we told it there's new oil now so once you tell it that it allows the regeneration to go on so thank you uh please consider to subscribe will bring you uh, these videos, you know, each and every time we have something, you know, we will pass it your way. Appreciate all the support that you give us on the channel. Thank you.